Hello and welcome to GFTL. This is Alpha Watch, where I look at interesting in development indie games. And this is another castle, a platformer based on platformers you've uh, you've played before in your past, and it's got that kind of uh, pixel retro thrill feel. But it is in 3D as well, so I will show you. It's got random generated levels in it, which uh, really adds quite a bit to it. Er, I'm already buggering things up. See, I'm terrible at uh, these kind of these kind of platformers what usually happens is that I'm like oh I'm, I'm pretty cool I can get oh a jetpack exactly this is what happens I'm like oh yeah jetpack this is awesome and then it runs out of fuel and I fall down a hole but yeah, yeah the uh, there's a jetpack you can also cast spells I think that's a shield I'm not entirely sure uh, and, ooh, what's that? Summon shark? Hell yeah. Oh, I don't have the ability to... Do I have enough for uh, summon shark? I'm going to find out when I find an enemy. Um, you also get items very occasionally. What is going on here? This is madness. I'm going over him. Oh, I can summon shark on him. Hang on. <laughs> oh my god! I have never been able to do that before. That is amazing. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Um, yeah, you can also attack things. But the whole point of this game is that uh, it's a prototype for a Kickstarter that the developer is uh, has put up on Kickstarter. Oh god, no, not in the lava. Um, and he wants to expand this uh, this idea of his, uh, including random generated levels and, you know, cool spells and attacks. And you can change your weapon. At the moment, we have a yo-yo for some reason. Uh, maybe he played a lot of uh, uh, Mother on the NES. I don't know. But um, he also wants to add like an overworld map and uh, what else? Uh, like different areas and things like that, all with uh, randomly generated uh, spaces. So I think from from what I've played already, this is a this is the only level available so far because he's just uh, he's just put it up for for to show us what it is. And uh, I am rather impressed. I really enjoy the 2D, 3D mix-up graphic style here. Because uh, I, I played a lot of Paper Mario when I, when I was uh, messing around on my... Oh, that's a bug. <laughs> when I was messing around on my uh, GameCube. Uh, what was it? Thousand Year Door? And I, yeah, I love that aesthetic. Oh no, I'm going to die. So many enemies. Oh, Squisher. So you've got classic platforming things going on. I might just uh, avoid him entirely. There we go. Oh, no. Got to time things right. And aside from being, uh, well, looking almost identical to a Mario kind of platformer clone, it really isn't. Because uh, my experience with Mario is it's meant to be accessible, it's meant to be for, you know, younger players, but this, this can get pretty hard. Um, so far, I have reached the end of this uh, prototype level once, and I've played it about 10 times. So, either, either due to my own stupidity, I think I'm going around in circles, uh, either due to my own stupidity or just, you know, getting squished by squisher thingies. I think it's down here that I was supposed to go, isn't it? Ah, uh, there are coins I haven't collected. This is madness! Oh god. Oh, I'm almost dead. Um, aside from that, there's a lot of uh, references to Mario and NES days and... Oh, the end! The end! Oh, thank a goodness. Oh no, your pet gorilla is in another castle. I have a pet gorilla? Sweet. So yeah. When you get the end, the thing that you are supposed to be searching for is added to the random generation 
rotor, I suppose. Probably a rotor. Oh, and and you start with the things that you uh, you had originally. I didn't know that. Probably because I fail uh, a lot of the time. But I'm loving this jetpack. <laughs> and hopefully... Oh, no, I still... Aside from having all the things, I also only have one life left. So I'm going to jetpack over here. And jetpack over here. Um, it's it's kind of targeting the retro crowd, which and you know is fine by them if they enjoy being reminded of of, uh, of the days of yore. But um, personally, I'm oh, I'm only twenty two, so uh, the retro days are beyond me. I I don't really care. What I do care about is fun gameplay and uh, things that keep you interested. So the fact that I've never... Oh yeah, I want to see what this red potion does. Hopefully it gives me health. Uh, uh, health up. Oh, it increased the amount of health I can have. Okay, so what does a green one do? Jump up. Well, that doesn't help. I've got a... <laughs> I've got a jetpack. I don't need no jump up. Oh, oh, shark! You just got sharked! Haha! <laughs> oh man, that is an awesome spell. I just jumped the shark. Because I'm Fonz. Ah! Floating eyes chasing me. Oh god. This um, is a very solid and polished prototype, and I'm really been really enjoying it for the past hour what what has been happening is that uh, I was like oh I should probably make a video and then what happens is I go back and play it for a bit I'm like oh I could talk about this in the video oh I found a new jetpack or whatever and and then I just I never make the video so this hopefully will go out to you unless it's absolutely appalling which uh, probably won't stop it because most of my videos are, are a bit rubbish but uh, I'm enjoying myself because I have a jetpack and I found the end again. What? I'm s I'm getting better at this. My girlfriend. Oh, I have to find her now. Oh well. So, I will link the prototype and the Kickstarter in the description. I think this is a really worthy project. I can see that being uh, a lot more random generated things I've I enjoy uh, things that because I think it's also got a permadeath roguelike feature where you die you lose all your stuff you have to start from the very beginning again uh, so you I think he mentioned something about having three lives and so on so hopefully as well as random I want to see what the blue potion does. As uh, randomly generated environments. Max, max HP, awesome. And what does that do? Oh, max mana. Okay, cool. Um, as well as randomly generated levels, which, you know, I mean, in things like Binding with Isaac, that keeps me coming back week after week. I, I play that game all the time. It's awesome. And from what I've seen here, there's uh, there's a lot of potential for... For good times to be had. So take a look at the links in the description. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Beep.